So thank you very much for watching me throughout this entire course, learning the basics of JavaScript. But even though it says it's a basics course and prototypal inheritance is a basic concept, most people trip up with prototypal inheritance. But in this course, if you keep it real, real simple, you can understand the prototype inheritance and how that works very, very simply. So that is my number one principle for you as you start your programming career or maybe you've come in from other languages. My personal principle is to keep everything as simple as possible because then what I can do is I can take that principle and apply it to many other languages. And that way I really get a good understanding of patterns in different programming languages. Programming languages haven't got anything as special. Don't think that just because you're learning JavaScript that somehow it's not an advanced language. It is a very advanced language. It can do incredible things and build incredible applications. There is absolutely no doubt about that because it's popular, it's everywhere, and it's in pretty much every major system out there. Whether you go to iCloud systems or whatever else, JavaScript is there printing data out to the user, it's communicating with the server, it's doing all kinds of things to speed up and make your web experience better. But it's not only on the web now, it's actually going into hybrid applications so you can build mobile applications and you can also build desktop applications using JavaScript. And Node.js is of course helping bring JavaScript to the server side a lot like PHP. So to be honest with you, it is absolutely everywhere. It's permeating the entire programming industry like leaven in dough. So really, you are learning a very, very good language. It's definitely the one that I would recommend that beginners start with. And then you can start transitioning into other languages. Now, the only thing you couldn't take from this course and sort of transition that knowledge into another language is prototype. Prototypal inheritance is very unique to JavaScript and other languages, other object oriented languages, even though they are building objects, again, keep it simple, nouns and verbs, they use a class syntax to do that, which is a little bit different. So I hope you've enjoyed this course. I hope you've had a lot of fun and there'll be a bonus lecture down below that will give you a load of goodies and information that maybe you might be interested in. Thank you very much for watching. Please follow me on Twitter if you enjoyed this course and all the best to you.